Hi friends, the topics that we are taking today are really, really very important because they form the basis for commercial mathematics and they form a good, good amount of syllabus at elementary uh, level of mathematics. All right. Now, um, are these fractions, decimals and percentages. To begin with, let me take you through the journey of establishing the relationship among these three things. For that, I have just taken this model. If I say this one rectangle is one whole, it is one complete whole. So if I say it is one complete whole, so it shows me, it tells me a few things. It tells me that as per fraction, if I just note it down uh, in fractional notation, so I have divided, for example, just suppose that I have divided into one part and I have taken one complete part. So one over one, it is fraction. So this is represented as 1 over 1 as a fractional notation, in fractional notation. Now decimal, if I say decimal, so decimal it tells me uh, it is one complete whole as already we have uh, discussed that we assume this is one complete whole and no part. So it is 1.0 as decimal. Okay. And percentage, this is the assumption that we have that whenever anything is complete in itself, it is always 100% of that thing. Okay, like 100% of uh, your um, salary. How happy are you? I am 100% happy. So, these examples. Second thing, what is the relationship? So, these three notations, three different notations of one same whole, same thing. So, it tells me that these are related like this. Next level is, next level is when I just let me divide this into 10 equal parts and this okay so now when these are 10 equal parts of one whole so what can i say when i shade this one part what this would be this one part would be in fraction it would be 1 over 10 i think uh, there should not be any confusion here 1 over 10 is fraction now in decimal what this would be now decimal has this characteristic like whenever you divide any given thing into 10 equal parts then we just write that part as 0 0.1 so it is the 10th part all right so now this was one whole so 1.0 means one whole now this is there is no whole but one tenth so it is 0.1 and in percentages because it was 100% so one tenth of that 100% means it is 10% okay and if I just remove these commas and uh, see the equality this is uh, this is another thing that we say okay, as a percentage as decimal and as fractions how these three things are related and how they can so there are three different ways of expressing the relationship one more way I will just tell you for a better grip of the concept and then for a more confidence while you use it in the later problems. Okay. Now, um, if I divide this particular thing, so like this has been divided. Now I take this part and I divide it into 10 equal parts. Okay. So let me just divide it uh, not to scale, please not to count. Uh, no, I think you can count. So 10, so this is five and, um, Part. So these are 10 equal parts and I am just taking this one part that I am just shading little differently. So this one part, what is this one part? This part is obviously one part out of how many such parts? 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here. There will be 100 such parts. So as a fraction, this can be expressed as 1 over 100. All right. Now, what is the decimal? If we see the same part, what is the decimal notation for this particular thing? You know, last time, in the last example, it was 0 0.1 means it was 10th part. Now, if there is another further division of that 10th part, so this part becomes 100th part because already in the fraction, fraction is telling us that such kind of 100 parts are there. So this will be 0, no whole, no 10th part, but 100th part. Okay, so it is 0 0.01. Be very careful here. All right. Now, percentage, the same part in percentage because 
this whole thing is 100%. This whole thing is one whole and 100%. So this is obviously just 1%. Okay, so this is another example of, uh, you know, another equality, okay, that you can see. So that forms the basis of the relationship among these three things. Now, let us take a few examples now. And just take this advice that whenever there is decimal, it is always convenient to divide your model into 10 equal parts. Because decimal has this inbuilt decadal structure so now 10 equal parts now you know we have to express 1 over 4 as decimal and as percent now as decimal first 1 over 4 obviously i have to divide i have to see half part first and half of half so half of half would be somewhere like this so this much this much isn't it so this much i have to see what is this as decimal you know it has been very clear since the beginning that this is 0 0.1 because it is one complete whole. So this one complete whole is 1.0, but this part is 0 0.1. All right. This is also 0 0.1 and these two. Now, what is this? This is actually half of 10th part, half of 10th part. In the last example, if you go again, you pause the video, go again and see. Uh, go back and see that this was divided into 10 equal parts and 5 were there in half parts. So it should be 0 0.05. So when you add up all these decimal parts, you get 0 0.25. So in decimal, this particular fraction 1 over 4 is actually is uh, equals to 0 0.25. All right. Now percentage. There is uh, not a big deal in percentage because this has been assumed as 100% because this is one complete whole okay now if that uh, this complete whole is 100% so this should be 10% this should be 10% this should be 5% all right so this thing will be 25% so 1 over 4 is actually is equal to 25% Okay, so this way we can uh, do. Let's take another example uh, for better understanding. So, um, to express 0 0.76 as fraction and as a percentage, first we are again drawing this model, um, a rectangular figure, and uh, whenever there are decimals involved, it is always good to divide it into 10 parts. Now, I think you might have realized that dividing into 10 parts is always good whether decimals are involved or not but even when the fractions and percentages are involved okay now 0 0.76 we know you know just to recall again that this is one complete whole okay and uh, it is 100% also and in decimal notation it is 1.0 now you just think 0 0.76 actually means 0 0.70 or 0 0.7 and 0 0.06 okay so these two things we have to first see here shared here and then see what fraction of this whole do they uh, constitute now 0 0.7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this much this much till here and 0 0.06 Obviously, you have to think a six smaller parts. Four, not to count, not to scale, please. Six smaller parts. So till here. Okay. Now this is 0 0.76 in, in all. First, let us see. Let us think about the fractions. Fractions, again, as per the fractional uh, understanding and the characteristic of this particular concept, we need to if we need to check what fraction is this so we uh, need to visualize how many such parts will be there in the complete whole so if there are 10 parts here and 6 we have taken because 0, 0 0.76 uh, i think point should always be here I, i'm just incorrect here so 10 10 10 so there will be 100 so actually in our fraction the denominator is directly 100 here 
and how many such parts will be there till here okay in this whole area there will be 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 76 so in fraction this is 76 over 100 and you can further simplify it okay so that's why sometimes you might have seen in the books in the in your new textbook that they see 0 0.76 just directly write it 76 by 100 but now you see the logic behind all right now in percentage you can simplify you can uh, very easy it is fair because you have been doing it for the last many years i think from grade 3 onwards now frac uh, percentage if this is 100 percent we have seen so this will be one to six percent here and 70 percent here so it will be 76 percent all right so in a way 0 0.76 is again i have taken this model and divided into 10 equal parts already now first let us see what is 30 one over four percentage on this model okay so we have a few assumptions like this is 100 percent in itself and uh, it is 1.0 uh, as decimal now 30 and one over four percent so 30 percent 30 percent is actually each part each part represent 10 percent so 30 percent will be from here till here and one fourth is actually one fourth part the half of half these uh, means 10 uh, uh, equal parts are there and each part will be further divided into four parts so there will be total 40 parts uh, you understand now 40 parts out of those 40 parts how many parts i have shaded here so 4 4 4 12 and 1 13 so it is actually as a fraction it is 13 by 40 one whole so 1.0 as decimal notation now think along if this is one whole then five parts one two three four five these five parts will be 0 0.5 okay all right now if this is 0 0.1 then it's half it's half will be it's half will be this 0 0.05 okay now this is obviously 0 0.3 now 0 0.1 is this part half of that half of that would be 0 0.05 or 0 0.05 but from there half of half okay so there will be two parts here two and a half parts here okay two and a half tenth part of this ten, one tenth so it will be two parts so we can uh, 0 0.02 we can write like this and half of 0 0.01 would be 0 0.005 okay so that one part now when we add these all three together so we get 0 0.325 as the decimal notation for this particular thing 3.25 here this number will tell us that three actually are three holes it's not just one so i have to draw three holes so one hole two hole and three hole and these holes are of equal size now 0.25 so 0.25 decimal notation means another hole we have to take the fourth hole okay the fourth hole we have to take and 0.25 out of that so when we divide this into uh, 10 equal parts so we divide this into 10 equal parts that's part so two tenths and five hundredth five hundredth part so now this becomes hundred percent this becomes hundred percent not becomes but it is actually hundred percent this is ten percent this is ten percent so these two parts are twenty percent and this is half of ten percent so five percent so when we add all these together now this becomes three hundred twenty five percent